2023. If you consider our country's future, vote for Peter B. Catholic Bishop tells Nigerians. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. The Catholic Bishop of Oka Diocese, His Lordship B Bishop Paulinus Isokafo, has advised Nigerians, irrespective of state, religion, or origin, to look inward and consider the future of the country before casting their votes for Nigeria's president in 2023. He said that from his knowledge of Mr. Peter B, his integrity, prudence, humility, and what he did in Anambra State in all sectors, that he was confident Obi was the type of person Nigeria needed at the critical time of her development. The bishop was speaking on Sunday during his sermon at Mass to commemorate the World Sickle Cell Day at the Madonna Catholic Church, Agulum. He took the opportunity to call on every adult who was not registered to do so and to get his PVC as part of citizens' civic duties. Speaking on the feast of the day, the solemnity of the body and blood of Christ, the cleric commended Catholics about the fruit of the communion in their lives and urged them to remain close to Christ in the Eucharist for the spiritual health and abundance of divine grace. On Tiku Cell, the cleric who explained what it is called on those desirous of getting married to check their genotype, status, and avoid begetting children that will suffer the consequences of their negligence. Speaking during the event, the coordinator of Association of Persons Living with Sickle Cell Disorder, APLSCD, Mrs. Aisha Maureen Edwards, thanked everybody that honored the event. She thanked Bishop Ezuka for, for remaining a true father to them. He thanked all those who have been in assistance of assistance to the association. I shall particularly thank former Governor Peter B for his parental care and concern in our work with presently 16 sickle cell achievement children living and educating comfortably in the dormitory after His Excellency Peter B because of his benevolence in ensuring that the orphans are well accommodated. She reviewed how the last support of two million they received from Obi helped them to renew their accommodation. She also thanked the Oka Catholic Diocese, Ekulopia Catholic Diocese, Agoata Anglican Diocese, Diocese on the Niger, Newi Teaching Hospital, Agolo People's Union, Prof. Chinyuri Okuna, Fara Cosmas Ebebe, Fara Jua Okechuku, John Bosco Onoko, St. Manuel Ibeneme, among others, for their continuous support. Now, the first part of the news which goes that he is calling on everybody, if you consider the photo of Nigeria, vote for P2P. If you consider the future, not, let me don't call Nigeria because you think you are doing it for me. If you consider the future of your children, eh, and your children's children, please vote for the right candidate. That is all I I can see. I want to believe that at this point, we all know our right from our wrong. We all know who is the competent of them all. We won't just know the competent, we'll also vote for the most competent. Because this time, I've said it before, this 2023 election is a phenomenon. It is very unique. It is not business as usual. So, we should make sure... Let's say, for instance, if you have never ever voted before, if you have never ever used a PVC, if you have never ever or as in done something for Nigeria, we should come out this time, get a PVC, and make sure we we'll vote in good governance. Okay, on this note, we have come to the end of the video to say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.